Hi, this is Big Dogs Porton here, and today we have a hybrid um, manifold build. The customer wanted to run uh, a 351 Edelbrock lower. Um, you see, I think the part number is 3880 Edelbrock with a 5.0 old style Edelbrock RPM upper. Um, I'm sorry, not an RPM, an Edelbrock performer upper. This is a performer upper with a 351 Edelbrock lower. So we just cleaned it up. The lower was brand new. The upper uh, was used, of course, and we started cleaning it up um, just so we can do the before flow testing before our stage two porting. So this is a, a good example of what customers are, are doing. They're taking, you know, the 351 lowers, whether it's GT40 or Edelbrock or Trick Flow, and they're mating it to used uppers. And what that does is allows them to run an aftermarket manifold on a 351 block, whether it's a straight 351 block whether it's a, a 393 stroker or or, or, or whatever um, but the problem is and if you guys have been watching our our videos you would already know what a lot of you know enthusiasts don't know aftermarket manifolds are they're better than stock they're better than factory bone stock factory but they're not what you, you think they are. They don't flow what you think they flow. A lot of guys, you guys are going with 11R heads, um, AFR, um, 225 heads or, or stroker motors. And those heads can flow out the box, you know, 280, 290, 300, 320 CFM and 600 thousandths. Um, but you're bolting on manifolds and throttle bodies that don't flow anywhere near that. So in essence, your motor is limited by the most restrictive part on the intake and the exhaust. So it doesn't make a difference what head you're running if your intake manifold sucks, it's terrible, you know? And we're gonna demonstrate what this setup right here, this setup, is going to be able to do after we start it back up. Let's see what this setup does. So this is the number one runner we're flowing and we're at 202 CFM. Number one runner. 202 CFM, which is horrible. That's terrible. And this is what, you know, if this manifold was cleaned up, you know, painted or polished and put on a motor and, and you, the guys opened the hood, the first thing, you know, you'll think is, wow, you know, that, that's going to produce a lot of power. No. No, see, we give you guys the science. We give you guys the the engineering aspects of these parts. And as you see, this manifold pretty much did 202 on the number one. So we're going to pause it and set up the number um, four. The number four, and we're going to see what that does. So we have it set up for the number four runner. Um, if you're familiar with our videos, you know how we block off everything up here, except for the runners that's gonna be flowed. So um, let's see what this one does. Two hundred and two, three, basically 200. 200 CFM, 201 CFM. Wow. 
Wow. 200 to 202 CFL on the number four. There is no <laughs> trickery. <laughs> there is no magic. This is what this manifold setup combination does. You know, and you know, a lot of individuals. Oh, by the way, our flow bench is calibrated um, to give the calculations 28 inches. So this is a true number. And besides, we're going to go ahead after we perform our stage two, we're going to go ahead and flow it with the same, you know, on um, bench, the same setup, flow the same way. So this is basically what this setup currently in stock form does. You're looking at about 195 to 200 CFM average runner, which is horrible for this setup. Realistically, realistically, a cleaned up um, GT40 manifold would run would flow that. Our stage two GT40 manifolds would decimate this. I mean, you're looking at anywhere from you know 270 to 280 on our stage two GT40. Manifolds, and that includes the Explorer, the Tubular, and the Cobra. Um, even our Stage Two 351 truck manifold uh, average runner flow is about 235 to 240 CFM bolted together. So we, we're trying to get you guys to understand that um, once we start porting these parts according to our specifications we tremendously increase the flow and flow more flow equals more potential to make horsepower that's what it comes down to a lot of people will say this and that that and this but you know they're not putting up any videos they're not putting up any data to really disprove that <laughs> what our customers already know more flow equals more power. So stay tuned for part two after we give this manifold our stage two treatment. We're also going to uh, make it look pretty because right now it's just ugly. <laughs> See you guys at the track.